back with Bobby and JJ Radio. We have Joyce Dooley of Geekdom and Kate Mason. Uh, she's with the city. In the off, actually, she runs the Office of Innovation, and they're doing this project together. I want to start with, first of all, thank you girls for hanging out with us today. Uh, I'll start with you, Joyce. Um, Geekdom, talk about it. Who are you guys? Who do you service? What are you doing here in San Antonio? Yeah, so Geekdom's a really great place. Um, it's been around since 2011, 2012 is sort of when it kept, got uh, kicked off. Um, it's in downtown San Antonio. It's focused on growing the tech and entrepreneur space um, here in town. And so it's the place where startups are born. And we're hoping to foster the next 10,000 tech jobs in San Antonio. Nice. <clears throat> it is a really cool place. I'm a member. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Uh, it's in the Rand Building, which is the coolest building of downtown coming you up. You in six months. I, I know. You might have been kicked out by <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, I'll yeah. put in a word for you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Let them, you know, give me a little bit more time. Um, but that building's changed completely since you guys started. We had Lorenzo here early on three or four years ago. And, oh, fantastic. And I remember when you were the you're in the building across from where you are now. Yeah, at the Weston Center. The so. Weston, right. Mm -hmm. And then in the Rand now, there's a Rosella's. Our man, uh, shout out to Sean Wen has Pinch. Uh, oh, Pinch. How do you not I know. stay? I mean, and there's just all, and that there's parking now. I mean, there's still construction a little bit, but it's that building's changing completely, and you guys are just going floor by floor, and it's one of the m coolest shared space, definitely the coolest shared space that we have in San Antonio, um, and the energy is awesome. We've gone down there to, to make calls and stuff like that, uh, even though we're probably the weirdest geeks to be around, but you know we do commercial real estate, so we're around there just to right. see if we can help. And we've actually done events at the. I was there today at the event center. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. This Tuesday they were talking about how to use Instagram in your business, and you have a really good place to even have events when you're trying to teach entrepreneurs. Um, and there's all this SBA stuff, and I mean you guys are really creating the tech district downtown, so I think it's cool. Thanks. And here comes in Kate Mason right with the city what are you guys doing with geekdom and and how are you pushing this stuff forward well that was a great way to set it up we realized at the office of innovation that some amazing energy was happening over at geekdom mm -hmm. that we had all these entrepreneurs in our community and right. all this untapped energy and so what we wanted to do was talk to that community and say hey we've got a lot of challenges at the city and we're doing our best to solve them but you guys have ideas and different perspectives that we don't have. So how can we partner with you? And that's sure. where this program was born. CivTech SA is basically matchmaking city departments who have unique challenges. We have almost 40 departments at the city with various challenges, everything from how do we manage trash collection and make sure that um, you're getting a good service there to how do we match you with an animal that you may want to adopt um, and reduce kill rates in our city to you know, how do we do a better job of navigating the Alamo Dome? And so all of these challenges are difficult. So it's free sla slave yeah, labor is what you're saying. Exactly. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's like a match.com, right? Yeah, but for, in a for, way. for entrepreneurs for, in the city. Yeah. City needs bright, innovative people. Mm -hmm. And Joyce Dooley and Geekdom are hanging out with a bunch of bright, innovative, entrepreneurial mm -hmm. people. And so it's a no-brainer, right? Yeah. And so what are you, are you guys just throwing stuff out there? Like you're just saying, hey, we're, we're really stuck here. How can you help? Or how are you guys um, putting out memos? Or how are you guys actually finding and ha helping solve some of these problems? So it's our pilot year, and it is a brand new, um, innovative program. No one else in the country is yeah, doing something brilliant. like this. Um, so we're trying to kind of manage it a little bit more closely in the first year. We went directly to the departments to source the challenges. Mm -hmm. um, and then we are going directly to our university professors and innovation directors um, and going to um, groups who work with high school and middle school students. And we're right. talking to them about the challenges. And mm -hmm. then again, Match.com, pairing them up with the department that best fits their students or sure. their entrepreneurial popu population. Um, I think in future years, um, if the program continues and the pilot goes well, we'll talk about kind of having a more open source right. um, take on it. But in the first year, it was really about seeing how different groups fit well together. Like to where to outsource the actual yeah. stuff. Like where do I find a solution to this type of problem or whatever. Right. And that's what you guys are doing. That's awesome. And mm -hmm. so how did, how did this come about? You, the city actually reached out to Geekdom? Yeah, so we initially actually reached out to Geekdom and CodeUp and some other folks in the entrepreneurial space. And the conversation really took off with Geekdom. Um, they were excited about what the city was doing. Right. They're downtown, as are we. 
And so they kind of just ran with it. Like um, it. And what they told us was some of our ideas initially um, were like, we want to run with this and, and build off of our startups. And they told us, you know what? We love it, but we also want to help grow our startups. So by working with university students and six through 12, we're creating more startups through this program right. as well. Because as the problems um, are revealed, yeah. then, then so are the startups that can probably There's help learning them. opportunities and a chance to launch a business. And so we're not only solving city challenges, sure. but we're also fueling the tech ecosystem. So with the whole kill shelter dog thing, I have an idea. Okay. Okay. So it's called the puppy experience where you can just have I a... I thought you hated animals. I love them. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> but you can actually have take a puppy home for the weekend and then you'll never give it back is pretty much the end result. You just have to match puppies with freaks like me that want to hang out with a puppy over the weekend. And it's in, I swear to God, if I had a puppy, then I would never go back to wherever it came from. Well, that's something else. Like a test um, drive and you're hoping <laughs> that yeah, you want to give it back. It's, it's like once you get into a Maserati, you're not going to go back to the Honda. <laughs> that's like, like, until, yeah. you gotta, until you got to pay for it. Until you got to pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not that expensive versus like your Tesla yeah. or your whatever. Anyways. So, for more information about these uh, collaborating forces of well, Geekdom, you can check them out um, online. Uh, you can check. You can also you have an open house every week, I believe, right? Is there open house times where people can come by and check? Yeah, you out? can always schedule a tour um, at geekdom.com. They'll um, they'll set it up and they'll take you around through the building, and then they'll show you the event center. Um, then there's also a new member sort of orientation meeting that happens. So if you do decide that you're in love with Geekdom, which a lot of people do, Definitely. then there's a new member orientation where some of the foundational members will come out and talk to you. You'll learn a little bit more about what services we offer. Right. There's all kinds of great events and community mentors. So um, it's really the place where if you want to grow your business. And for more in. information about this collaboration. You can check them out at www.civtech, that's C-I-V-T-E-C-H dot, or sorry, dash S-A dot com, or call them at 210-373-6730. That's our show for this week. We'll see you next Sunday. Bye. Bye.